Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Daymare Sandcastle. I figured let's keep going with this. I'm I'm intrigued. I'm actually intrigued by a lot of the, the different games we're covering at the moment. So, what's our mission? Find a way to unlock access to the main research facility. We turned on the power. I guess we... Oh, well, there you go. That's, that's good level design. See the light that's now blue? Ooh. This door wasn't there before. Wait. Let's see what the scanner has to say. What do you mean this door wasn't there before? Hold to aim scanner. Hold to scan object. Alright. Do I scan the door then, do I? If I had an override cable, I could open this door with my eyes closed. Okay. Vortex lock model. T-1000, it's a terminated door. Terminal hard drive access, decryption process complete. Data downloaded to DID. Decryption information, when the power came back on, a retractable wall wrap, oh, okay, geez, I thought we were getting supernatural, like super hard, super fast. Retract, oh, yeah, okay, I guess I can see the indent. Um, looks like the rumors about this place might turn out to be true. What the hell are they hiding behind there? To find out, I just need to connect DID to the blast door control panel with a hacking cable and bypass the analog security system by operating it manually. Okay, that sounds that sounds good enough to me. Wait, where'd the retractable I came through here. What do you mean this door wasn't there? I'm uh, I'm cool I'm more confused than usual, to be honest. Okay, what whatever. Okay, okay, so I need a cable or some crap. That's fine. I can do... Oh. Maybe we go down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is getting a bit... Concentrate. Concentrate. There should be a terminal for rebooting the power systems around here somewhere. Okay. That makes sense. See, you talk to yourself about mission stuff, that makes sense to me. Not about bloody whatever you had for lunch or if you recorded friends on on DVR. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this UI. Oh, this is great. Basement laboratories. Okay. Hangar. Confirm hold. What does that mean? Confirm hold. Generator activation. Power hub. Oh, hang on. Five, three. Right, yeah, now look, I like these little, little small brain Resident Evil puzzles <laughs> that are more, they're more just engagement than high tech gameplay. That works for me just fine. Oh, gee. My controller's vibrating across the floor. Must be plugged in. Power restored. There, yeah, baby, let's Everything go. Everything should be operational. Please confirm. Yeah, I confirm. Doors open now. Reyes, get back here right now. No worries. Too much time already. Okay. God, someone commented that the, uh, the commander dude's giving them Thunderbirds vibes, and that, that was spot on. Yeah, <laughs> 100%. Alright, now. Yeah, I was gonna say, this game's gonna jump me on the way back. That's <laughs> <laughs> the system is completely fucked. Good. I think, uh, you know, people always notice when you overdo jump scares, but that's not to say that you should never have jump scares. I, I don't mind them. They help control pace with an ebb and flow. But you, if your entire crux of horror equals jump scares, no, it is a component that should be, it's almost an ingredient to building uh, suspense. That's how it should be looked at, not the actual only tool. Uh oh. Wait, did the did the boys get inside? Roddick, my entrance is blocked by an alarm system. I need a few minutes. We're out of time. What do you mean I'll see out of you time? Inside. I'll find a way. Let's keep in radio contact. Alright. 
But this is really good. This is all I want from, you know, it doesn't have to be Time Hollywood. To security door. Having said that, the, the way I said that makes it sound like it's bad. This is actually really good. It's building suspense really well. All right, well, I've got the cable, right? So I should be able to jam that in here or something. Here we go. Oh, yeah, put it right in my face. Password detected, BQFD1. Or do I have to press it? Yeah, B. Now do I do Q? Wait, wait, I'm confused. What is going on now? What am I pressing? Oh, it's rotating things down? Oh, maybe. Nine. Yeah. How, how do I get B in the first? Oh, maybe at the top. Oh, you know what? I can... I can move them around. Ah. Do you think maybe I have to put it... This is a cool little puzzle. Do I put it there? I put it there. Okay. Ah. Oh, this is cool. This is original. I haven't seen something like this before. I like this. Sorry. Whoops. Q. Uh, F. Oh, we could use that F. D. D, D, D. Oops, I don't have to go back up. D. One. That's cool. I like that. This is eerie. Advanced research facility. Room like. According to the maps of the base, this area shouldn't exist. Really? I don't have a map, do I? M. No. My pip they they had a lore excuse for my pip boy not having it. Ah. This shouldn't exist. Advanced research. Un United States progress. Oh. Security checkpoint. Leave your gun. Take your badge. How about no, mate? Oh! I'm sure this all makes sense if you played the first Damir game, but uh, not to me. With power restored to the main office facility, Reyes finds herself trapped inside due to the resulting reactivation of the security system. Time is tight, so Foster- I'm still not sure why time's tight, other than obligatory window. Like, anyway. Uh, so Foster and Radek revise the original plan and decide to make their own way towards the lower levels, hoping to rendezvous with Agent Reyes inside the base. Using her hacking skills, Reyes stumbles across what appears to be a secret hidden passage to an undisclosed area of the base. I like these little splashes that are giving us an update. If you're someone like me that talks while you play and you miss things. Good question. Listen, we've been attacked by something. We weren't prepared for this shit. Proceed with extreme caution. Wait, really? What the fuck are you talking about? Section 8? No, there's still no trace of them. We don't know what the hell it is. Let's find this fucking Anderson and get out of here as soon as possible. Right. Anderson. Probably don't want to touch that. No sign of life. Okay, interesting. Interesting voice. Voice line. Alright, a save point. Wonderful. Though the game did seem to auto save me back where I loaded in. Ammo. That's a good sign. What the fuck is going on here? What is this place? 
What is this place? Dunno. I like this chick protagonist. She's good, you know? She's not annoying. She's not girl bossing, but she seems competent. What the fuck happened here? What's going on with this bloke? Oh, can I scan him? I wasn't planning on doing that. I just wanted to pull out me light. Oh, jeez. Please don't fall on me or something. Right. Maybe some sort of containment Static? procedure. Is everything okay? Jesus. Fine, but something is not right here. I found some Section 8 bodies. A couple were burned to death. Christ. Those assholes screwed up big time. <laughs> there are signs of a fight. I wonder what they were trying to escape from. Listen, we're close to that damn briefcase. I don't give a fuck what killed them. I need your ass over here, okay? Uh, Understood. Uh, understood. On my way. Be careful. I will, mate. You too. Gotta stay focused on the MacGuffin. Damn, nothing works in this place. Footprints. What is going on here? This is wild. I love it. That dude looks like he's sleeping. Hey, Radak. I'm in a weird laboratory. I found more Section 8 corpses. Yeah, we uh, also found bodies. Fuckers were burned to a crisp. Thank right. You. Towards our goal. You've located the contact in the completely burned out area. We're heading there now. Okay. I'll join you as soon as I find a way out of here. Some Half-Life stuff going on here. Alert. No getting through there, mate. It's over here. Nothing. Fire extinguisher. Right. Good to know. Oh, that I think that means I can ski in something. Maybe. Oh, okay, my cross here's... Oh, is it that? Aha! Okay, so we've got some little audio clues. What do we got here? Interrupt it. Oh, hang on. Fact sheet? I want to... I like reading the documents, game. Okay? Oh. This. Data downloaded. Decryption incomplete. Laptop hard drive access. Partially decrypted, decrypted information. Following in-depth molecular composition analysis, RAM 77 provided or proved to be a metal with unique characteristics. Its unparalleled electromagnetic absorption capabilities make this alloy uniquely something. Refinement procedures from its raw state are said to, uh, are to be considered fundamental. When refined to its purest form, the bars must be kept at a temperature no higher than zero degrees Celsius in case of, or probably, explosion or something. Extraordinary potential has been confirmed in both civil and military applications. Research carried out by the U.S. Progress technicians, U.S. Progress, that's what, yeah, okay, has brought to light an exceptional something or other. Any additional information regarding the use and provenance of of the metal have been classified by the Department of Defense. Brought to light exceptional. Okay, cool. So we've got some sort of rea highly reactive material when refined. Look at it. It's like kryptonite. I'm pulling my gun out. Can I scan that? Oh yeah, forcing me around for a lap. Ah, interesting. Oh, I like little hard drive ticking noises. That's cool. What is going on here? Bro, I am so sucked into this. That sounds like a terrible idea. There's monsters locked up. Oh no. 
No, yeah, now we're talking. Radek, Radek, are you receiving me? Radek. Oh, what's that behind you? There's a ball. Electro ball outside. I thought I saw one. Maybe I'm going crazy. Oh, yes. More of that, please. More of that ammunition. Alright, so the game seems to love jumping me on when I double back. So let's just see. Eh? Don't suppose this door's open. Oh, what's going on with this bloke? Hello? Oi! Holding out on me, mate. Alright, so the door over here should be open. If I don't get... Uh, yeah? Uh, yeah? Oh, uh. no, it's alright. I'm safe in a cutscene. Oh, listen. Oh, oh, Jesus! Look at this bloke! Oh, it's Electro. Bruh! What? Nah! Have a seat. It reminds me of the, uh... The z oh shit, hang on. What's going on there? Oh, his little ball... His little ball... ...possesses a new body. Did that weird ball of energy just bring it back to life? Bro, that's so clever! And it, it's, it's clever from a sci-fi perspective. And also from uh, from a, a gameplay mechanical, so it's got a little ball that that corpse hops. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. It's another one of these balls. Hmm. So what happens when it... Oh shit. Oh, this is cool. So does it... Like if it were to possess him, does it change his skin to a burnt out husk? Probably. Oh, 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 oh do I double back through this? Uh, yeah. Have we looped around? We've looped around. Oh no. Oh no. Me no likey. Do I ha No, it's not working. I don't have the password for it. Okay. Now I get jumped going back up, surely. Interesting sending me around in a circle like this. Getting the most out of your level design. Like, it's pretty clever. Save. Oh no, this corpse is gonna be gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's so clever! Bro, this is really, really, really well designed. Oh. Mate. I am really impressed with this. And not just because everything's at such a low bar these days. This is really cool. Oh, no. Don't give me, don't. Leave me in the cutscene, please. Don't give me back the control in the dark. Me no, me no Reiki. <laughs> Yeah, where are you gonna go, little little ball? Nah, off with your head. Oh, did the did it did it run away over there? Right, because it's got the sort of zombie, you know, 
blow bits off corpses to make sure. Oh. Mate, I am I am having a moment. Radek, are you receiving me? Radek! Was that beep my radar radio or was it the sc scanner do that? Well that's not good. Maybe he's having a shit. No. I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, actually we don't want to think about him like that. Okay, so I think that was just the radio. Uh uh, this this creates opportunities for them to jump scare me from for to monster closet me onto corpses He's got his legs missing Mate oh first aid kit hold G to use the first aid kit 100 there we go. I've got health good Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Sprint through here, Scarlet. That seems like a bright idea. Bit rude. <laughs> 70. Came out of nowhere. And what was that noise? I'm running out of shells, man. No. Wrong button. Wrong button. You want button number two. That's what you want, Scarlet. There we go. Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh, something to read. I love a bit of reading. Oh, maybe not. Oh, shit. Manual override. What's over here? Just some, just some goober hiding in the elevator shaft. Oh, Look. Inside area 51. Wait, what? Dude, it is too. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, this is the sci-fi I've been waiting for. Oh, there's some fires up there. Radek, are you receiving me? Please respond. Respond, Radek. I've located the burned out area. Radek. Oh. Are you receiving me? I like him. He's a smart ass. He's an unlikable person. I like him immediately. But more in a, you know, a hard 80s way, not in a 2023, I forgot my insulin injection kind of way. <laughs> EX TAC 3-3. Oh yeah. That thing did a lot of damage to me. I kind of actually dig that all it did was grab me and I took damage. That's something, you know, I've wondered about, not to harp too much. But you know, your dude will get shot 30 times and lose 10 health sort of thing. And I always wondered, why don't we just do like almost, you know, your dude doesn't really actually get stabbed until he hits zero sort of thing. So I lost 30 health because the dude grabbed me and just held me. Uh oh, I heard some. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, look at the wheels on that thing. It's great. So that's a that's like a container lifting apparatus. How do you get an entire bloody ship in here intact? Oh, we're on a ship now, I guess. That's wild. I wonder if this has ties to the first game. Surely. Oh. Oh, I, I hear like eating sounds. Oh, look, that dude's dangling. Jeez! Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, I'm going up there. Burr. Oh, there's a hand and everything. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! 
My oh my. Mate. Oh, Jesus says he's hid. Oh, yeah. It's like a scientist looking dude. Some sort of lab attire. Uh oh. The energy testicles floating around. He's on patrol. Am I looking? Oh, 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 fuck you, game. That was so clever. Oh. 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 oh, man. Wait, he's going to stand back up, isn't he? Maybe not. He's thinking about it. Might hold my med kit. Oh, wow, that gave me a full heal, and I was down to, like, 30 or something. Mate, making me look at that coat and just stand there and think about what it was, and then by the time I figured out what it was, oh, that is that is that is masterclass. That is really good horror construction. Oh, nice. Which way? It's like a collectible or something. We saw one of those at the beginning, right, in our cabin. That's right, it's a video game. I don't mind. Resident Evil 4 has those sort of bobblehead things. What the? I've never seen anything like it. What, light? Am I, am I not seeing what I should be seeing? I guess it is just a big old tube into light mist. A heaven tube. <laughs> oh man, this is brilliant. Makes me want to rewatch one of my favorite horror movies, which is Hot Take. With my with my best girl, my Rada Mitchell, best Australian actress ever, in my opinion, and only mine apparently. <laughs> Bloody the Silent Hill movie, man! I love that movie. I think that's a real like. Never mind that it's a good video game movie, because it is. I think it might be one of the best video game movies. But it's a great. It's a great horror movie. Is that more shotgun shells? Yeah, good. What am I looking at here? Oh, this is good. Show don't tell, or rather it's creating mystery by showing me confounding, curious things. And, and, compel and compulsion comes from that. You know? If you gave this to a AAA studio, this chick would be talking non-stop. It'd be anecdotes and bullshit Avengers one-liners non-stop. Uh oh. I don't like all these bodies. Oh, oh no. Oh no! Hmm? Yo, run! Yeah, yes! You are! Time to run. I saw the. I can't take them all on. I have to move. I have to move. Oh, 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 oh! Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine! <laughs> Not sure that's how roller doors work. But... Time to go. Time to go. So, do I get an auto-save after the cutscene? I think I should.
Oh, here we go. Raze is attacked by the reanimated corpses of Section 8 soldiers, brought back to a twisted mockery of life by an ominous electromagnetic phenomenon. Yeah! Things go from bad to worse when Raze, Raze receives an urgent message from Radic via her DID, unable to make radio contact. Raze activates the geolocation function on her DID in an attempt to trace the origin of Radic's signal hoping she can get to him before it's too late. There you go, there's my save. Oh, and the boys are knocking. All right, very cool. Oh, look, she's a bit bashed up. I'm on full health, so that's kind of cool that she's potentially got a character model that evolves through the course of the campaign. I always like that sort of stuff. The, you know, the idea of just getting a bit more bashed as you go. Hey, this is cool. This is really good. Anyway, team, let me know if you want to see some more. Much is over there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.